Solutions Corp. I probably pronounced it wrong. I apologize. They pay a nice little dividend of 1%. Let's check them out over five years. So this is a highly volatile stock. As we can see, like the, the, the peaks and troughs are very deep. Um, so just be careful where you get in. Uh, we're about to break out to all-time highs, which was created in 2018. So if we can't break that, expect like a, a deep trough. That I mean, that's ah, the little box. I wish it was on the other side, right? On the left side, not on the side I'm trying to show you, All right? Because then I'm like, I'm trying to explode, and you can't see anything because the box is in the way. Anyways, so we're back over here. So, well, we, we dipped down, we cleared everybody, which is, so, this is, this is good to show this. So, part of the reason why a stock can't break out is because there's, there's no new buyers. Everybody that wanted the stock has already bought it, right? So, when they broke through here, the 2000 and, looks like in 2016, so everyone that's been holding this stock since... Uh, 2016 last four years might have been taken out well when there's a new surge all these people that were you know basically fell asleep and then all got the little bings and like oh I'm glad I got out you know forgot about the stock they look back a month later two months later like oh man the stock's taken off I got to get back in it's already higher than where I got taken out and so then what do you think they do they buy they buy they buy and then uh, your, your larger institutions start seeing it and seeing that they're, they're, it's making a large, a large move. So that's new money buyers to push us above the old time high right here. Now, let's check it out. What do they do? A service company, right? <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, financial services, healthcare, manufacturing, logistics, and other. That's great. I'm glad that they, they like to put other. Um, yeah. 93% institutional ownership. I like to see it. Let's see what the website shows us. Mind you, since we do have a, a dividend, we will only be looking briefly at what they do on their site. We're more concerned about, look at this. Can you imagine that in the future? Well, Cognizant can. <laughs> Their services. So artificial intelligence. So this is, they're, they're broken into three different, like the other site was, wasn't completely accurate. So they're broken into digital businesses, digital operations, digital systems, and technology. So artificial intelligence, digital engineering, digital experience, digital strategy, internet of things. Uh, you can pause the video. I, I'm not gonna read something that you obviously can read. That just doesn't make too much of any sense. So you can pause the video and read them all yourself. Most definitely come to the website and click all the buttons and learn for yourself what they do. In industries, in literally everything. So. Every industry that you can think of. Now let's go over to what they do. Artificial intelligence. I'm interested now. See, it suddenly all made sense. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else saw that. I saw it suddenly all make sense. It went away very fast, but it was there. Uh, yeah, a lot of nice pictures and how you're going to go beyond a lot of, I mean, there's just a lot of more clicks for you to go to different places. I don't, you'll get lost in here and you'll, you'll forget what you originally went and clicked for. So you yourself are very able to come and get lost in clicking. See, I'm already doing it. Let's see, deep learning. What do, what do we got here? Mm. 
watch they're gonna send me to another page and this is what i mean by you can get lost in this uh, see i already forgot we're supposed to be looking at the in investors um exactly right i am i understand so much more now yeah you can come and you can read all that because that's that's a lot. You got to sit down and actually pay attention to what they're talking about. All right. 2.6 billion in capital returned. 37 company countries financials. No investors. Stock information. Dividend history. This is what we want to see, right, gentlemen and ladies? All right. So we are, this is nice. 17, 2017, uh, 45 cents all the way up to 88. So we've almost doubled. Uh, 18 and 19, we held the same and then went up 8 cents. I mean, it's for the entire year, so you're not, it's not like you're getting that per quarter. So don't get too excited. You're getting 20 cents per share. So it's going, it's gone up. Uh, oh, they only paid three times in 17. Well, no. Excuse me. So they haven't been implemented, the dividend, or the dividend hasn't been implemented for very long. But they consistently pay since they have. And since they are paying a dividend, it shows that they're, they are a growth company, but now they also want to be a dividend company, which is going to attract a different type of investor as well.